Hey, what's going on, guys? My name's Jay, and welcome back to my sneaker channel, J.Mac. Now, before we get into the actual video, I do want to thank every single one of y'all out there for subscribing over the last past week and a half. Before I even got a chance to thank you for 7,000 subscribers, we've already pushed past 8,000, and we're well on our way to 9K. And hopefully, by All-Star break, we'll be celebrating 10,000 motherfucking subscribers. Goddamn. <laughs> that is absolutely crazy. So thank you to everyone that's commented, liked, and subscribed. It really does help the channel grow. And I promise I got you guys with some more awesome videos on the way. But today... We're going to take a look at these Yeezy Static Tree Fitties. Yeah, I know, I know. Every other YouTuber out there has already covered this shoe from front to back. And that's true. But today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different with them. So, when I first saw this shoe, I was on the fence fitty fitty about them. The asymmetrical prime knit pattern is dope, right? And it's something that we haven't seen done on the V2s yet. But on the other hand, I wasn't so sure about that deconstructed see-through look of the side stripe. Because I'm not really into the whole off-white deconstructed vibes. But I, I decided to pull the trigger on these anyway. Because if I didn't like them, I can always just sell them on StockX and get my money back. No big deal, right? Well, not really because I copped them on a European site called Size, and when they shipped them, they didn't double box the shoe. They came in one of those plastic shipping bags, and the box got toe up from the flow up. So even if I wasn't feeling these, it's gonna be a much harder sell with the box all tore up like that. But my first initial reactions when I got this shoe out the box is like, damn. I'm in love with the laces and that prime knit pattern on the upper, especially that hound's tooth detailing right around the heel of the shoe. And I'm still not 100% on the see-through heel stripe, but it doesn't look as bad in hand as I thought it did in the pictures. Personally, I can live with it. But something else was throwing me off about the shoe and I couldn't quite put my thumb on it until I turned around the shoe and I looked at the inside of it and I was like, well, I'll be damned. It's, it's that pool tab. The pool tab is what's throwing me off on this shoe. Not only is that bright ass white pool tab out of place with the gray prime knit pattern, but it's also obscuring this really nice white stripe underneath that continues the see-through stripe around to the backside. And that's when I decided, I was like, yo, I'm gonna cut those off. <laughs> now, I've uncaged shoes before, so this isn't gonna be a big deal for me. All you gotta do is get yourself an X-Acto razor knife and you just push it against the threading on the seams and they just kinda pop right off of there. You don't even need to try to cut it. X-Acto knives are sharp enough to cut threading just by touching them with the tiniest bit of pressure. In fact, X-Acto knives are sharp enough to cut your skin without you even noticing. And no, 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 that cut on my thumb isn't from an X-Acto knife. That's just dry ass skin from the winter that I peeled away and it burned like a motherfucker. <laughs> but anyway, I, I used the X-Acto knife, popped those threads off, and, and the pool tabs came off in like 30 seconds each. And when, when you do pull them off though, there'll still be a little bit of threading left in the prime knit of the shoe, and you can just pick them out with your nails, some tweezers, or if you even have a pair of electric clippers, you can kind of right on the side and get it nice and even with the prime knit. But the results? Man! The results though, <laughs> cutting the pool tab off of these just takes this shoe. That's right. To a hoe. Never. Never. Honestly, 
without the pool tab, the design of this shoe just makes a lot more sense to me because you have the white sole, then you have the gray prime knit, the white stripe that's continued from the side, breaking that up just a little bit, and then it goes back into more gray prime knit, and then back up to the white collar to complete the look of the shoe. The pool tab is just like putting a big ass wing on the back of a Corvette to me. It looks gaudy. It's just too much and it's out of place. Plus, my pool tabs weren't aligned properly with the white stripe on the side anyway. So cutting them off just makes this shoe look a whole lot cleaner in my opinion. But my name is Jay. This has been another episode on my channel, J.Mac. And if you have any questions about doing this yourself, hit me up in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to help you out with any questions you have. This is a super simple custom job. Pretty much anybody can do it, but I do want to put a disclaimer that I'm not responsible if you hurt yourself with an X-Acto knife or you fuck up your shoe trying to do this. That's on you. I'm just showing you that I've done it myself. <laughs> my name's Jay. This is my sneaker channel, J.Mac. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you guys later.